welcome to Last on Earth Survival. So today you will learn some tips and tricks on how to get your ATV as fast as possible and the cheapest way possible. So some of you probably already know that to get that to get your ATV you have to go and clear Bunker Bravo. But Bunker Bravo is very expensive, but there is a remedy for that. So you have to wait for the event. And the event is Bunker Bravo event. Duh. And yeah, so uh, here AK's increased damage is by 25%. Zombies health, but that's not really important. The damage from guns, it constantly changes. Sometimes your M16s do 25% more damage. Sometimes AKs do more damage. So the first part doesn't really matter. What's important is the last two buffs during this event is the zombies health is reduced by 50% and radioactive contamination is decreased by half. So that means you don't really have to rush through that Bunker Bravo. You can even bring some worse weapons and that's what we will be doing today. We will be clearing Bunker Bravo with some sort of worse weapons. I'll try to clear it with unmodded guns. Maybe I'll even bring a melee weapon here and there and we'll see how it's like to clear that Bunker Bravo during that event. We've cleared it already multiple times and it is absolutely amazing. It's very cheap. It's awesome. And if you want to get your ATV, you absolutely have to be clearing that Bunker Bravo during this event. I've heard some people can actually clear it three times. Imagine that you can clear that event three times and you can get three gas cylinders by end. Probably those three Bunker Bravos are going to cost you as much as one normal uneventful Bunker Bravo. You know what I mean? Like, that's how many guns you can save there. It's absolutely amazing. But before we go to that Bunker Bravo, we have to go and do a raid. So let's get here a C4 and let's get ready for the raid. But before we even go there, welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. I'm glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There you will find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. Like us clearing that Bunker Bravo event. So as soon as we are done with this raid, we will go to that Bunker Bravo. So once again, welcome, welcome everybody. I'm glad to see all of you here. You still have to worry about 10 ATV transmissions, the serial killer. Yes, you still have to worry about those ATV transmissions. And as I said many times, ATV is very pay to win. ATV, I mean, would I even call it pay to win? It's just, it's just weird. It's not like you can even buy those ATV transmissions. You just have to gamble lots of caps in that gas station in hopes of getting those ATV transmissions. Also, you can get some ATV transmissions from season passes. So yes, ATV is very pay to win, but there are other things that you also have to worry about that ATV, like those gas cylinders, and uh, yeah, and at least I can at least I can help with what at least I can help. And that ATV event, the excuse me, not the ATV event, it's Bunker Bravo event, but we can call it ATV event. <laughs> it can actually be called ATV event. But it would be cool actually if we had an ATV event. I just thought about it. Imagine we have, uh, we already have a chopper event. Why don't we get an ATV event? That'd be amazing. In any case, let's go for the raid. This is our first raid of the day. I think there might be more raids in the future. Let's pop a C4 over here and let's see what this raid has to offer. Let's see. It's like, when is more scum? I've literally posted a scum video like what, yesterday? So, yeah, make sure to check it out if you haven't checked it out yet. And if you have checked it out, then there will be more scum survival soon. Ish. Okay, the chopper is empty. Good, good. Everything's fine. Let's activate the sprinting skill because I can't wait to raid this base. Oh, look at this. We can even get three guns here. Okay, uh, we'll take that stuff with us. I wish we could get more Glocks because I don't really have a lot of Glocks left in the base. So, yeah. If we're going to clear that Bunker Bravo event today, I'll clear it with, uh, with unmodded AKs. Probably. Or with something else. We will see. Nothing here in the trunk. And hey, welcome to all those that are just joined. Welcome, welcome. I'll get these iron plates. How long have you been playing this game? I don't know, for about six years. I think in about a month it'll be six years. So five years and 11 months. And 11 months. That's how long I've been playing this game for. Kind of a long time, isn't it? It's like I've been playing this game for 10 years. You couldn't have played this game for 10 years because it's not out for 10 years. You can get gas cylinders from the season passes. You can also get gas cylinders from season passes. You can. But this event is amazing. Bunker Bravo event is awesome. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's get a Winchester. We're even going to bring a Winchester to Bunker Bravo today. Imagine that. Imagine that. Okay, let's get some copper bars. And a little bit of common planks. And that is pretty much it. That was the raid. Does it get my approval? I mean, we did get three guns. We did get like 20 aluminum wires. And on top of that, that was a revenge raid. For 1c4, it's not really worth it. But as a revenge raid, I guess it's all right. Could have been worse. Plus, I mean, you could have gotten some more iron if you wanted it. Plus another electronic circuit. But that was my electronic circuit that they stole from me. So I don't know. I really don't want to give this base Sykes approval. 
But I mean, it gets Sykes approval just because it's a revenge raid. If it wasn't a revenge raid, I I wouldn't have approved this base. But for a revenge raid, I guess it's fine. It is decent. When will have a free-to-play series? What? You're asking when will there be more free-to-play series? Soon. Soon. There will be more free-to-play series. No worries about that. Aluminum plates. I think we already have a lot of plates at the base, so we don't need to take more. Dude, do you know that you can tame 150 Rex in Ark? Amazing. That is a very amazing piece of information. Thank you. I've played this game for seven years. This game is not out for seven years. So... There's that. Okay, let's drop the Winchester and... I guess let's start buckling up. Everybody put on your seatbelts. And we're about to go to Bunker Bravo. Because why wouldn't we go there? Hmm? Why wouldn't we do that? This goes there. Let's drop some coppers. Some copper bars. Whenever I say cop uh, copper bar, I feel like I say capybara. It's not the same thing, but you got the point. Let's get some more capybaras. Can you even have a capybara as an animal? Uh, like the, a domestic animal. Is it legal even? I don't know. Maybe it is. It's like I have a capybara farm. Very good. Very nice. That is epic. Okay, let's drop an aluminum. Excuse me, that's not an aluminum thing, but the electronic circuit. And 20 aluminum wires. I'll probably drop these aluminum wires over here. Bam. That is decent. And uh, what else did we do? That is it. We just have to pay the raiders. I need to get that. Oh, no, I don't need to pay the raiders. Actually, I don't have to pay the raiders because, as I said, that was a revenge raid. How tall are you? I'm 12 feet. It's like 12 feet? Are you kidding me? I'm 12 feet. If you don't believe me. I mean, I have nothing to prove you. I am 12 feet. I'm actually 12.5 uh, 12 feet, but yeah. Let's just say 12 feet. Um. Yeah, let's get ready to Bunker Bravo. Let's get ready for a Bunker Bravo. When are you going to play more The Walking Zombie 2? Perhaps someday in the future. Can't promise anything, as we never know. We never know. So yeah, let's just get unmodded weapons. I will unmod all of them, except it's gonna be pretty tough to unmod them one by one now. Yikes! Or maybe I'm not gonna even take those weapons. Let's just take unmodded weapons and that's it. This way I don't have to remove any mods from them. Uh, let's get... I don't know, a few revolvers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a few revolvers. As I said, I will bring one Winchester. I'm kind of feeling bad about bringing it, but hey, let's get them. Let's get that. Let's get some more armor. Um, and whatever. Let's get whatever armor. I mean, I assume, guys, you're gonna have SWAT armor. If you don't have a SWAT armor, then what can I say? You can get tactical armor. I have SWAT armor. I will use the SWAT armor. If you want to clear Bunker Bravo and you don't have SWAT armors, and if you don't know how to get them, then maybe it's too early to go to Bunker Bravo. I have goop guns, so I will compensate it by getting a bit better gear. But as I said, tactical armor and SWAT armor, they're almost the same. So it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I will get perhaps a melee weapon, but that's kind of silly. That's like pushing... Pushing the limits. Absolutely, that's like totally pushing the limits. Bunker Bravo with Winchester, says Gaga Kremang. Just with Winchester. Maybe... No, I didn't mean to mod them! No! 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 Can I unmod this? No! I have to unmod them one by one. How do I... Oh my lord. I made a mistake, guys. I made a mistake. Well, whatever. Let's quickly unmod all these weapons. As I said, we're going there with unmodded weapons, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing modded. It's the muscle memory, ladies and gentlemen. It's the muscle memory. It's a great thing, but sometimes it's a goop thing. Get crowbars. Guys, we're not bringing crowbars there. Stop it. Clearing Bunker Bravo with crowbars? That is stupid. Alright, I'm telling you. That is kind of silly. And a machete. You know what? Let's even unmod this machete. I'd rather get katanas instead of that machete. I mean, getting just a basic machete to Bunker Bravo. There we go. Let's just get a katana. You know what? I'd rather get that. And I had another set of ar uh, SWAT armor. Where did they drop it? Where did I put it? 
where did I put my SWAT armor? I had two sets. I know I have only one set. Whatever, let's get that. Let's get some healing items. And let's just roll. There we go. I guess that should be something. A Winchester! We're taking a bloody Winchester. That is it. How am I going to deal with the boss there? It's going to be pretty tough to deal with the third boss on that third floor. So I'll try to use my shotguns, perhaps. My AKs and everything. I am ready. I am ready. In case we run out of guns, I'll just come back here and I'll get more. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Most noobs have few common mods. Yeah, yeah, some people do have common mods, but I'm just not going to put anything just for the test to go there with unmodded weapons. We should put some common mods on it. We should put, as I said, guys, AKs are very well... AKs are really good with common mods. You don't even have to have purple mods for the AKs. There are some people out there that don't even... That have maybe purple mods, but they'll still use common mods because common modded AK does like, what, 22 or 24 damage? And purple modded AK does only 18 damage. It does more crit shots and everything. So I still believe that purple mods are better, but common mods are still fine. Same thing with your M16s. You can just mod your M16 with common mods and it'll be amazing. So we could put some common mods, but I think we can still do it. I still, we can do this without any mods at all. So there we go. Dude, the radiation pills. We're not getting anything. We don't get any radiation protection. We don't need it. We are going here because of this event. I'm bringing a Winchester. Look how thin it is. Look at this Winchester. Bleh. Absolutely bit. Best M16 setup uses all common mods. Red laser is optional. I totally agree. Same thing with, like, as I said, AK you have. You can really kit out your AK very well with common mods and it'll do more damage. AK is so much better with mods. And nobody said that it's not much better with mods, bro. And the uh, suspect, bro, thanks for being five. Uh, thanks for being a member for five months. Thank you, mate. Thank you for the support on the channel. Really appreciate it. Hello, Sarek. Have you eaten today? Yes, indeed. Just asking for no reason. Just came from work. Nice live stream. Uh, welcome, mate, to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you had a nice day at work. And uh, yeah, I've eaten today. In the morning when I woke up, I had a mango. And uh, recently I've just eaten some pasta with eggs and a salad. And I'm ready to slay some monsters. Let's get an epic soundtrack. Bam. Bam. And I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's deactivate the turrets. Let's deactivate the vent clearance. And let's begin our adventure. I have no idea how that'll work out. Okay, there's that toxic darter. Let's get it. Oh my goodness. Revolvers, guys. Revolvers are worse than Glocks. I just don't have a lot of Glocks, so... I brought here revolvers, but I mean, if you can clear this place with revolvers, you'll be able to clear this place with Glocks. Bruh. I literally brought a Winchester. I can't believe this. I'll get stuck. Okay, the stupid darter. Okay, that dude's gonna explode. To be honest, I have no idea if we'll be able to clear the second floor like that. I have never tried clearing it that way with these garbage weapons. The Winchester is absolutely horrible, guys. The Winchester is atrocious. <laughs> no wonders it's the worst weapon in the game. Go and drop your stupid shield, man. Just drop it. Okay, the revolver does 10 damage and the Winchester does 9. They're almost both the same. Okay. Something tells me we will fail. Like, I feel like we won't have enough firepower to just clear the second floor. And if we can't clear the second floor, I don't think we'll have enough weapons to clear the fourth floor. Okay. We got that. How about we get some bandages and we heal up with bandages? It'll be easier. Okay, that acid melter. Oh no, acid melter can actually melt our armor. So I should be kind of quick here. Oh no, that's not good. We have to keep our health, health here at full. Because those dudes were doing 80 damage for us. Our goal is heal up again. We're going to run out of bandages real soon. The Winchester is weak. The Winchester is terrible. Same thing with the revolver. It's kind of goop. 
Sadly, you cannot wall trick the Toxic Spewer as the spits go through the walls. So that's not kind of cool. That's not what the doctor ordered. Just die. Bruh. That's it, we did it. So maybe for these guys, get an AK. And, mo and unmodded AK. That'll be better. You'll actually save something. I needed to bring more bandages. Whatever brought here. It ain't enough, chief. <laughs> We're using a Winchester! I can't actually believe that. Can't make that stuff up. Winchesters and revolvers. Well, it's time for us to use some shotguns. Unmodded shotguns. Ladies and gentlemen. Unmodded shotties. There we go. No spread shots. No crazy shenanigans. Just like basic weapons. Just common weapons that you can get from... Uh, from Bunker Alpha. Let's get another revolver. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Just drop the shield, man. Just get some help. What'll be the most difficult part is dealing with that... Whatever his name is. The boss here at the, at the end of the second floor. Neutralizer? Is his name Neutralizer? Is anybody aware? I don't remember. In any case, that, that schmuck... That schmuck's gonna be pretty difficult. Okay, let's pop some screamers here. Liquidator! Yeah, his name is Liquidator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Liquidator. Absolutely. A revolver. <laughs> Their goddamn revolver. And bunker, bravo. Who would have thought? I even brought a melee weapon. I, I'd like to use it, at least for a while. But I mean, I can't melee weapon ride zombies. I mean, I can probably avoid this dude, unless I can't avoid it because I'll have to go there. I could have probably avoided that guy. Could have avoided it, but I decided not to risk it. As they can stun you. Please don't pick up your shield again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. Let's open this thing up. Okay, that's just a stormtrooper. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. We will absolutely do it. Okay, no, 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 no. That dude is gonna pop. We still haven't even started getting any radiation damage. That's what I'm all about. Okay, let's go outside. It's kind of annoying that I keep stepping on it. There we go. We started getting radiation damage. We still should be able to do it. To do this, I will use my shotguns, and that's it. No! No! How did I die? I healed up. I healed up, ladies and gentlemen. It's unbelievable. Well, in any case, we still can go back there. I can't believe that we actually died there. It makes no sense. Absolutely, it totally makes no sense. I'm gonna blame the the lags, right? I'm gonna blame the lags. Um. Well, whatever. I don't think I need anything else there. Let's just hop. Oh, wait, I need more bandages, actually. I died because I wanted more bandages, guys. That's why I died there. Absolutely, that was the reason, guys. I wanted to get some more bandages. It was the liquid on the floor. Maybe it was the liquid. In any case, I did click. I saw that I don't have lots of health, and I was like, whatever, I'm gonna save one bandage. And every time I try to save a bandage, I die. That's why I keep saying that healing with bandages is is easy and at the same time very wasteful. So I tried to save it, and I died. Well, it do be like that. True gamer for blaming the lag. Yes, indeed, my USB... My mouse got disconnected from the USB port. Also, it started lagging. The game was lagging. And everything's lagging. Whatever, let's go back to Bunker Bravo. We can do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do this. Toxic Spewer is literally broken. The spit so much. Uh, the bigger than the circle shows. Toxic Spewers? Yeah, they're, they're, they're horrible. Every zombie here is horrible. Every zombie is goop. I'm sorry, sometimes it's fun to see you lose. That was the reason why I lost. Yes. Okay, let's go back. We can still do this, ladies and gentlemen. We can still do this. I feel like zero deaths record might be broken today, says the A. Still zero deaths. 
Still absolutely zero deaths. How do you make bandages stack up to 50 and not 20? I don't make them stack up to 50. You can only stack that many bandages in the racks at the base if you have an ATV, because then you can upgrade your chests to a higher level and you can stack more items there. So those racks are upgraded, basically. That's why you can store more items. You can store up to 70 if you upgrade your racks. Go on, dummy Cyric. Oh, Lord. I get this silly gear. The rest, and that is it. I'm running. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm running. I am running. Also, we have disabled event clearance, and every time you die, you go back to this place. And if you don't disable the vent clearance, zombies will keep crawling out of those vents. So it is kind of nice to not have to deal with that. So it's nice to disable that vent clearance. Um, there we go. They're all dead. Let's do this. I'm going to get actually here a bit better guns for this because I have no idea what it's... How the things are done here. And, uh, yeah, let's heal up. There we go. This dude... I mean, unmodded AK just shreds them. That's all I have to say. Okay, there we go. The dude escaped. We can release these. Wait, do I release what turkeys? I forgot. I mean, probably basic turkeys. Of course I release basic turkeys. I'm an idiot. For a second, guys, I got a, a brain lag. I always have a brain lag. Okay, we do 40. The guy does 70 damage. Okay, cool. Okay, let's just heal up and let's just stay here in one spot and we should be able to do this, ladies and gentlemen. We should be able to deal with this boss. Armor shouldn't break. Should be quite easy. When the guy eats those turkeys, at least he doesn't heal, right? Imagine if he healed up by 200. It's like, shut up, don't give them ideas. Okay, I'll stop it then. Come on, just go for it, mate. Can't die. Okay, we still have 12 bandages. And there we go. So the first floor was cleared cleared during this event with like literally super basic weapons. Like absolutely as basic as it gets. Like you will definitely have stronger weapons by going into this place. Before you go into Bunker Bravo. Like seriously, it was super easy to clear this during this event. It's amazing. Now we have the third floor. I have some of these guns. I have some of the AKs. I'm actually a lot more worried about it, about the third floor. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Like, I'll be honest with you guys. I am kind of scared, but let's go. Let's go. Let's heal up. I still have some first aid kits and more bandages. Well, I am ready to go to the third floor. Oh, AK-47 deals 25% more damage today. Oh, also it does more damage. Basic weapons and no deaths. What a pro. Well, we did die once, all right? Only once. Okay, so during this third floor, we're going to disable this. And let's go further. I'll deal with that acid melter. Oh, my goodness. That guy, I hate him. I hate this toxic darter. Stupid schmuck. There we go. We did it. Now we can use our revolver. Bruh. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna get another shotty here. Okay, that's a riot. That's a lot of riot zombies now. All of those schmucks are riot zombies, aren't they? Oh no. Oh no. Where's the loot? There are no boxes in Bravo. You loot boxes at the very end, at the top. Once you clear the floor. There is no time to loot the boxes. Stupid zombie. Drop the shield, man! I know the radioactive contamination here is decreased by half, but... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh lord! Okay, we did it. I should be kind of moving faster and I should be saving some of these weapons for the boss fight as the boss. I'm, I'm really worried about the boss fight. I'm not going to lie. I'm like 80% sure that I'll die there. Maybe even 90% sure. It all depends on how much radiation I'll have there. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I should be moving forward, not backwards. Okay, let's heal up. Let's go through here. Okay, we got this AK. 
unmodded AK. Oh no, my armor. Um, not cool. I'm gonna start using bandages just to save up at least some first aid kits for the boss. I mean, I can probably wall trick this guy. There we go. You can even wall trick using melee weapons here. Proved. <laughs> I mean, you could probably watch some of them, right? But as I said, that, that is very time-consuming, and if you're using these very low goop weapons like revolvers, I would suggest you to probably not wall trick, because you won't have enough time for the boss. Oh no, oh no. The dude pushed me into this uh, radioactive spit again. You can use MGLs, they are in modded, says the A. Okay. That's it. That's too much. But hey, jokes aside, I cannot use any MGLs. Those are not basic weapons. How to get ADP parts? Can you give me tips? Literally, here we go. This entire live stream is one huge tip. We are clearing Bun Corral, uh, Bravo, during this event with as basic weapons as it gets. Like, literally, very extremely basic weapons. Let's get another revolver. Can't believe it. And we're not even close to that boss. <laughs> I'm gonna start getting radiation damage soon. Okay, the dude's gonna explode. Oh, no! I'm wasting shots. We did it. Is, is it a monthly event? I think this event appears every two weeks. I might be mistaken, but I think it appears every two weeks. Well, at least once a month, that's what I can say. It appears at least once a month. Dude, I don't have strong enough weapons. I brought way too many revolvers for this event. And I didn't bring enough shotguns. I should have brought more shotties. Oh no, there are these guys. Okay. I'm gonna get some more bandages. I will die. There's no ill. I'm already getting radiation damage. Yeah, these guns are not too fast, guys. Maybe just bringing, like, Winchesters and revolvers wasn't a good idea. Maybe revolvers aren't strong enough for this event. Maybe. Just maybe. Yeah, I think we will lose. Yeah, I'll have to restart it. At least shotguns, like, if I clear this place with just shotguns, I think I could have done it. But, like, with this garbage that I have here is definitely not enough. I still need to kill the entire boss. And look at my radiation. You could probably do this if you are faster than me. I did waste here some time. But bruh. Nah, we're not gonna clear this. It's impossible. Unless I switch up to something better. But if I switch up to something better, I won't have anything better for the boss. First aid kits. I mean, still, let's not give up. To bring in revolvers to this Bunker Bravo event maybe isn't the smartest thing. Okay, how about I go up? I, I'll aggro this dude. Oh no. Okay, at least I didn't die. That's good. Exploder's gonna pop. Let's heal up. Let's heal up again. We'll now destroy this turret. I actually like to do this. Okay, let's go up and then let's try to deal with this riot zombie. Go on, man. Please drop the shield! Help a brother out, please. There we go, we did this. Let's do that, this, this. Let's get the AKs and then I'll be using the shotguns if it doesn't work out. I mean, yeah, I have to deal with those guys now first before I kill this guy. Don't think he's gonna yell very soon. Let's deal with those fetid corpses and all the other stuff. Because it's gonna be very tricky if I don't deal with them now. My radiation, though, I have 83 health! Okay, some of them are 
Dying. Oh no, I didn't mean to get the toxic spewer. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh lord. Maybe I can just avoid those riot zombies. I feel like I should probably avoid them. Let's get perhaps a shot here now. Oh my goodness, they're really stupid. Okay, now we have this slasher. I want to go all the way to the top. I might die here right now. I'm spamming my healing items as much as I can. I'm dead. No, we survived. That's good. I'm still gonna die though. Because I have only six first aid kits here. Okay. Dude, I need more first aids. There we go. And we're almost done. We just don't have to panic. I can't even aim at that dread now. We can do this, ladies and gentlemen, with revolvers! Almost. Well, the boss fight required these unmudded guns. You just died. There we go. We did this. Woof! So all you have to do is just don't panic. It's easy. Like, I definitely panicked and we still had 50 health. So, easy. Probably don't even fight these riot zombies. They're very slow. They're just a distraction. It's pointless to get them. That is it. That is it. We did it. Now we have the fourth floor. So let's go back to the base. Let's get ready for the fourth floor. So actually, the boss is uh, is is definitely doable. If you have like an an, an an unmodded AK, what I just used two unmodded AKs and that's it. We were able to deal with it. Not even two full unmodded AKs, just like one unmodded AK, one and a half probably, and you can definitely kill that boss just like that. So, well, I mean, you could bring obviously spears if you want. You can bring Glocks. Just make your job harder. But yeah, everybody has an unmodded AK, and it was. Definitely doable. Just probably don't fight those riot zombies as as you saw they were just wasting time unless you can kill them Unless they're not holding their shield and you can try to kill them But if they're holding their shield just probably kill uh, keep damaging that boss until he spawns another zombie and then kill that zombie and so on and so on So yeah, this event is definitely a lot easier a lot easier than I expected Okay, now we got to go back to the base We got to get probably another set of armor and I want to bring some whiskey for the last boss fight because it might be a little bit tricky. The boss fight actually might be a bit a bit tricky. Okay, let's actually switch the to different soundtracks here. For now at least while we are getting ready for the fourth floor. Sheesh. Right, zombies weren't dropping their shields at all. Yeah, yeah, they were really annoying. They were really annoying. Frustrating indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, do we have anything else here? Okay, we've gotten some more mods, ladies and gentlemen. We can open up those purple mods. Let's try to open them up after we... After we are done with Bunker Bravo, maybe? Or should we do it now? Let's even... Let's do it now. Let's open up those purple mods. Whatever. During Bunker, uh, during Bunker Bravo event, I can't Dr. Dread. Since he has half of his HP, he spawns every... Everyone at once. No, he didn't spawn them all at once. I just literally killed Dr. Dread with just an unmodded AK. So you can see how we've done it. Uh, how we've done that. Don't shoot him too much. Just deal with zombies one by one. And yeah, let's guys open up these extremely rare blueprints. Bleep blop, bleep blop. Let's see. What can we get here? Nothing, nothing useful and nothing useful. We've just gotten Sight Times 4 for the Uzi. We've gotten this at Pill 1 for the VSS and Tactical Upgrade for our Uzi again. All right. I mean, I'd like to exchange them for something one day, but as I said, you don't really get anything in return, so it's kind of pointless. All right. It's kind of pointless to keep that stuff. Okay, we have storage here. Whatever, let's get rid of this armor and let's get another one. And Zachary Castleman, thanks for the super chat. Water of shame says Zachary. Thanks, man. Thanks for the super chat. And yes, indeed, let's take a sip of water. Oh, that was nice. Zachary, are you sure that was water? Yes, I'm pretty sure that was just water. Just have to enjoy it. Just have to enjoy water. 
more first aid kits, perhaps more mana. Just, yeah, I'm maybe gonna over prep for the last floors. I never really counted how many guns we need for it or whatnot. Revolvers, bruh. Revolvers. I can't believe it. Okay, let's bring some AKs, some unmodded AKs. They're really, they're really strong. For this event, like, unmodded AKs are insane. Like, very ridiculously overpowered. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't think we need more weapons than that. Like, that, that's way too many weapons, even. That is way too many weapons. Let's try to remove some upgrades from these bad boys. And there we go. Let's unmod this AK. Maybe let's get M16s. I don't want to use too many AKs there. I want to use, like, maybe save them for the boss fights or for when things go... When things go south, I can bring an M16. Unmodded M16s are pretty garbage, though. Like, you should keep mods on it. Like, at least a grip mod or something. Obviously, we are doing 25% more damage with the AKs today as well. There's also that. Okay, let's try to... I don't remember how many drinks we can get their whiskeys. I think we need... We can drink only three whiskeys, not four. So, let's pee ourselves so that we ourselves and that's it there we go let's go let's take a shower and that should be enough psych you won't eat headphones right no i'm not gonna eat my headphones maybe i'll eat the microphone later on maybe You don't need whiskey. Two scars is enough, but we're not going to use any scars. We won't be using any scars. I think that's enough. Let's just get another set of armor. As I said, I'd rather over prep for this than under prep. We are definitely bringing way too many guns, though. Like, I will drop. I'll leave some of them at the base. Okay, let's bring this armor. Or maybe we're not bringing many guns. That is it. Let's go for it. Whatever. Let's just go. How are you refilling your chest refilling your chest with guns? Uh by by police department, by Bunker Bravo and raids. Okay, let's go now to this Bunker Bravo, ladies and gentlemen. By Bunker Alpha, I mean, and we are refilling guns from Bunker Alpha crates, the police department crates, and other crates. So yeah, speaking of those crates today, I need to go to the... and open up all the crates in Bunker Bravo, and all crates in the PD. To replenish some of the guns. It wouldn't be Happy Sci Extreme if you didn't over-prepare. I agree! I like prepping. Bravo with no mods. Wait. Yes, exactly. Please explain. That's what we are doing. We're using basic weapons. We're using basic weapons with the no mods. By basic weapons, I mean, I'm, I'm not using any grenade launchers, any scars. AK is a basic weapon. If you don't have AKs, I'm sure you're doing something wrong. Um, I'm ready. I just killed Dr. Dread with a fully modded AK in two seconds, says Visa. Thanks for the super chat. And yeah, you can probably do that because he has only like, what, 400, 500 health. So you could probably kill him really fast. You could probably kill that boss kind of fast. It is possible. It is doable. So congrats on that. Thanks for the super chat, mate. Welcome, welcome. And we are ready now for the fourth floor. I guess I'm ready for the fourth floor. I don't know if... I'll die there or not. I don't know if I'll survive. I don't know how anything will work out here, but we'll see. Uh, scum looks awesome. Hope it continues for long. I mean, we've already made like, what, 300, maybe 400 videos on Scum, so make sure to check all of them out. If you've just learned about Scum, we already have a lot of videos on Scum. Just go to YouTube, go to playlists, and you'll see everything there. Oh, no. 
now Juggernaut resets the health. So that is kind of annoying. Wall trick? No! The corner didn't work! Unbelievable. Okay, Exploder is gonna pop. LSD with that fetid corpse and the revolver. Oh my goodness, the revolver! It's kind of goop if you ask me, but these parasites are decent. And Riot Zombie's dead. So far we're going. 300 of scum videos, yes, that's still not enough. Uh, yeah, same thing with Last on Earth. We have like 1,500 videos on live streams combined. We have like thousands of hours of content about Last on Earth and it's still not enough, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't enough. If we had more frequent updates in Last on Earth, there would be daily Last on Earth videos. And perhaps live streams. So there would be even more content. Okay. I, the dude just spat on me. I kind of don't want them to explode in this goop. Because... Yeah. The exploder is gonna pop. Okay, let's just deal with all these parasites. I think we are done. We can go further. Thousand videos is not enough. Nobody said the thousand videos. We have over probably a thousand and five hundred videos and live streams. Can we clear that room? No! Stupid ride zombie. Unbelievable. I hate those ride zombies. They're super annoying. Never enough loot, never enough loot. We can survive a Parasiter's bite with the SWAT armor. I mean, maybe we could, but I'm not gonna try it. Oh my goodness. They're not dropping their shields, are they? Look at them! Look at them! They're stupid. They're really stupid. The worst zombies in the game. I said I hate them. I hate them with passion. Before you posted a video every day, miss those days. There isn't enough content about last night to post a video every day. That's why we don't have a video every day. There's still something every day, either a live stream or a video. Oh my goodness. Stupid ride zombie. Is ATV worth it in the beta? What do you mean in the beta? The game will is in the beta and will probably always stay in the beta. So what do you mean in the beta? I don't get it. The game has been in the beta for uh, six years. Do you think it's going to come out? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, let's bring those guys here. If they don't drop shields, are they clever instead? No, they're stupid. They're still stupid. What should I do after Bunker Alpha? You should farm grass to craft bandages and carrots and uh, cook those carrots and craft crowbars. And then by the time you do all of that, Bunker Alpha will reset and then go clear Bunker Alpha again. Can you play more The Walking Zombie 2? Perhaps someday in the future, maybe. Can't promise anything because we never know. Oh no, my armor. Die schmuck. Die schmuck. Oh my goodness, another riot zombie. I hate it. Did you grind the settlement? Did they know we haven't grinded the settlement yet? We might go there later once we are done with Bunker Bravo. After that, we're gonna go to the... It's not a abandoned factory, I forgot that thing. The transport hub, right? We're gonna go to the transport hub. Do you do some different things other than playing games, says Jess, Jessia. Jessia, do you do different things than ask dumb questions online? Do you do different things, man? I'm a gamer, dude. Do I look like I do different things?
I already said that one story and I'll keep telling it because I think it's pretty fun. As I said once, somebody left a comment saying that, hey, like, why are you waste a uh, waste of space in society? Do something better, like become a writer, become a doctor, a painter or something. Be useful to society, like stop playing games. And then I go on their channel and that dude was live streaming Grim Souls. Like Grim Souls is another like basically mobile last and earth survival type of game. And I was like, okay, that was kind of hilarious. And then I like literally laughed out loud. So it do be like that, ladies and gentlemen. It do be like that. Oh my goodness, I'm actually losing lots of health uh, because of the radiation. I mean, we still should be able to deal with the boss. I'm not gonna panic too much. I'm really not gonna panic too much. It's like drunk people advising not to drink. I mean, it's not really the same, is it? I mean, I see your point. Almost died there. I had 10 health, but everything's calculated. I see your point, but I don't think it's the, it's the same, right? Because, I mean, I can see how a drunk person would advise someone not to drink. But yeah, but calling me useless space in society or something. Because I stream and then the dude does the exact same thing. It's kind of, it's a little bit different. I don't know. In any case, let's get the shoes. Let's get the AK. The shoddy. I'm ready for this. I guess I'm ready. I have no idea if I'm ready, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get destroyed here. But I need to disable both of those. Might actually lose here if we lose with these guns i'll be very not surprised i'm actually i might actually lose here to this boss so soon my character starts freezing i need to pop a whiskey here okay we need to pop that whiskey I know I've blasted some too many AKs. I just want to deal with this. Just destroy that thing! Did you see that? I'm dead here right now. Heal up. My goodness. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Heal up. Whoa! I was... I, that dude had 12 health. The thing had stupid 12 health. I can't believe this. You should crop out this section. Dude, if I'll yell at you right now, I'm just... You're getting under the heat right now. It was the wrong time to comment this. But you should crop out the sections of the stream out and publish it as standalone. I haven't seen anyone else do Bunker Bravo with such crap weapons. I mean, everything is going to be in the pinned comments. It's fine. Don't worry, man. We were this close. The guy had 12 health. The dude had 12 health. 12 health. I would have absolutely destroyed that thing, but then my dude ran out of healing items and I was like, what's going on? And then I tried to heal and for some reason it still didn't heal. I spammed my healing items and I had like three health. I don't think I'll be able to do this anymore because my radiation is way too high there now. Even if I bring, unless I bring a fully modded scar, but then, I mean, even with that, I don't think I'll be able to do this. Yeah, I think we have to restart the fourth floor, ladies and gentlemen. I think we actually have to restart the fourth floor now. Use rad pills. But that's not gonna count as something right, no? I mean, I don't think I'll be able to actually do this. I won't be able to do this. I'll have, like, only 30 health by the time I get back. I mean, I could do this if I bring a fully modded scar. Like, if I bring this, if I bring the, whatever, the anti red pills, I can do this, actually. But it's not really gonna be fair because the whole point was to clear this place with like crappy guns. And Hank Amano, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you here. Hello, hello. 
Let's save the run, whatever. Let's just get these anti-red pills. I'm gonna also get this other suit to save the run. In any case, guys, the guy had 12 health, okay? You saw it. Let's count that as a W, all right? Let's count that as a W. So, unmodded AK is kind of weird there. And But you saw the point. Every time you get frozen, you drink quickly a whiskey, and that's it. Also, pay attention to your meds there. It is doable. That is it. I'm gonna get two fully modded scars, and we will just blast those schmucks into smithereens. If that is enough. If that is actually gonna be enough. Might not be enough. It's a half W. Dude, I mean, I can't restart the fourth floor. I'm gonna make a poll right now. This, this way I'll feel bad or worse. Should I restart the fourth floor? Yes, no. There you go, guys. There's the poll here. Should I restart it or not? It's up to you. You can vote right now. The vote will last for like one, two minutes by the time I run there. Or by the time I'll wait. I don't know. We'll see, guys. I can restart the fourth floor and just do it again. I can't tell you how many times I've died from the targeting system switching to a random zombie instead of the one I have been shooting to 1 HP. They end up killing me, I believe. I believe. It's like actually 40 to 60%. I don't know, man. Let's probably restart it. Let's probably restart it. I mean, it's like 57% to 43%. Like, it's almost 50-50. If it was like 80 to 20, maybe, then I would not restart it. But like, actually, there's a lot of people who would want me to restart that. Whatever, let's just get the weapons and let's do it again. But that's gonna be a bigger L. But that'll be a bigger L if I die now. There again. I really don't want to restart it though. Okay, let's get ready. Let's buckle up, buckaroos. And let's get ready. I will bring some of these weapons. Another AK. Bruh. Bruh. Let's get also a Glock. I said that I don't want to bring any Glocks because I wanted to save them. But hey, let's bring some of these Glocks. That Those four weapons and whatever else I have there, that should be enough. Let's also pee again and we are ready. Okay, the game kind of lagged. Just for the education, right? I just want to do that fourth floor and be like kind of done with it. Redeem yourself. Yes, indeed. But if I die there again from that boss, then that's it. Equip pills and scar and be done. It's not about being done. It's about a challenge. Um, and yeah, we're going to finish it, ladies and gentlemen. We will do this. We will do this. Don't we start slam a pill and cocoon? Cocoon is such a lazy boss design. I agree. Most of the bosses here are kind of lazy. After you die, do you reset your bladder meter? I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna test it out. 13 bottles. There goes. So every time before you go to that Bunker Bravo fourth floor, if you want to check down those whiskeys, you have to pee before that. We do overcome the failure. Something tells me I'm not going to overcome it. If I lose there again, that'll be a huge L, actually. The problem was that I had a shotgun instead of a Glock on those... Whatever tiny parasites, right? If I had used that AK on the blob instead of the parasites, then I'd be able to use that AK for longer. 
Does that make any sense? Because I would spam my AK on those parasites, and then by the time it cools down, I do only like two shots on the blob, and that's it. And then I have to shoot those parasites again. Let's get another Glock. Man travels to swamp to build an outhouse. Man proceeds to be unable to give up being in house. I mean, once you try being everywhere, whenever you want, you can't give that up. Once you pee a few times at home, you'll just start peeing everywhere. It is what it is. Oh my goodness, I definitely took way too much whiskey. Yikes. Why aren't you modding guns? So for those who have just joined to the stream, we are clearing Bunker Bravo event today. We are clearing it without using any mods on weapons to prove that, hey, this event is actually doable. Like most of you should already have some basic mods, some at least common mods. And with common mods, it's going to be like so much easier. In any case, I'm ready. I'm gonna pick that stuff up. I'm not even gonna restart the fourth floor. I'm not even gonna like try to go to the fourth floor right now because it has insane amount of radiation there. I already had only 30 health. So as soon as I go go there, I'll just die. So I'm just gonna like restart it actually now. I'll restart the fourth floor and I'll do it again. And we'll do it properly this time. And uh, we'll just, we'll succeed this time guys. If I don't succeed this time, that is it. I am a loser and you can call me stinky loser. Please don't call me stinky loser. So hey, Glocks are going to be much better. I'm going to save those Glocks for the last boss fights. Why pop a reanimator when you can't really lose your stuff from Bunker? Well, I, you can continue then. You don't have to restart. Okay, let's delete some of this. Okay, new gear. Oh my goodness, I don't have enough, probably, healing items! How did I forget about healing items? Maybe I have something here. Okay, I have another stack of first aid, because that should be more than enough then. Okay, I'll use bandages and that stuff. Okay, cool. Let's use shotguns and AKs, and for the boss fight, I will be saving Glocks then. Where are my Glocks? What happened to my Glocks? Did I only bring two Glocks with me? I thought I brought like four. That's why I over prep. Oh no, I didn't restart it. No! Wait, what's going on? Why I am getting damage here? No, I'm gonna die. My, my things, whatever. I didn't restart, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot to restart it. I forgot to restart. Well, let's go. I forgot to restart. And wait, is that the fourth floor? That is the fourth floor. Maybe we can still do it. Maybe I didn't have to restart. Wait, maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe I'm somewhat of a donut, actually. Wait, it's actually... Radiation is a lot weaker here. Wait, we didn't have to restart it. Ladies and gentlemen, we didn't have to restart. Go and shoot, idiot. I mean, if that's not enough, I don't know what I'll do. That's not gonna be enough, I'll need an AK. Where's the damn whiskey? One more whiskey. We did it easy, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't even have to restart. I thought we'll have to restart, but we didn't. Okay, we did it. 
We did it. Didn't even have to restart. Woo! Actually, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We actually did it. So Glocks aren't that great either against those parasites. So you have to have some stronger weapons for this boss if you want to like succeed and have higher chances of succeeding. And uh yeah. Like I guess Glock mixed with an AK, it'll be a lot easier. Plus, if you like actually mod your AK that it, when it doesn't miss, it'll be even easier. You can just go on auto and keep healing up. But whatever, we did it with unmodded weapons. And even if we died once here during this event, apparently when you die during this event and you come back, radiation doesn't really do that much damage. We had only like, what, maybe 40 or 30 health last time because of radiation. And yet we still survived. That's great. That is absolutely great. We did it. I survived. I'm happy with it. And that's it. I showed how to deal with that last boss. Because you will probably have to use that whiskey. Except before you drink that whiskey, make sure to pee at the base. So, like, drink a bunch of water or something. You don't want to drink whiskey at the fourth floor while fighting the boss. And then your character will pee himself there. Like, that's it. Then you're gonna die. That is it. We did it. Revenge. Satisfied viewer here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We did it. Whatever. Now, let's get the loot. Let's get now the spoils. So we grinded for what, you might ask me? Well, for all of this, for six carbon composites and 20 caps. Okay. Okay, we got some factory parts. Oh, let's pop that anti-red. How lovely. Then inside of the third cl uh, crate, we have gotten car batteries. Some more random items. And at the fourth crate, basically the reason why I should be clearing this bunt crowd in the first place is this gas cylinder, right? Because you get one gas cylinder. Plus, if you assemble the opening, openings lock or something, whatever it's called, the openings terminal, there's the turret control storage. I think it's this thing, this thing over here, guys. You have to assemble this one. And uh, if you activate it on the fourth floor, you will be able to get more loot at the very end. You'll be able to get an extra gas cylinder. So you'll get two gas cylinders instead of one. Except to assemble that, you need to have lead plates. So that's like kind of tricky to get. Okay, what do I need? I need to bring this, this with me. Some more goop. So maybe I'll go quickly to the chopper and jump some stuff in the chopper. And then we need to go and clear the transport hub. Now we know that it is doable. Thank you, Saig, for your experiment. Yes, that's it. I did it. You can clear Bunker Alpha with unmodded guns. Bunker Bravo with unmodded guns. That is it. That's it. Now I can say it. We did it. I mean, it was already kind of obvious that you can do it, but... Yeah. I was thinking about doing Bunker Bravo during the event, but not going after seeing that loot. I couldn't remember exactly the loot. The loot is goop, but you need that loot if you want to assemble your ATV. If you don't want the ATV, then obviously Bunker Bravo event is kind of pointless, but you can still save here an insane amount of weapons. Oh, let's get this, this, and aluminum wires. Nothing. Wait. No, nothing. For some reason, I thought that those batteries were anti red pills. Yeah, I don't think I need anything else. Let's skedaddle from this place. Actually, there was gunpowder. The gunpowder is kind of pointless, but I want to take it because it's kind of rare in the game, but it's pointless. I already have the ATV, just haven't done Bunker Bravo in forever. Oh. Then, yeah, if you have the ATV, then Bunker Bravo obviously is trash. Like, if you have the ATV, then you shouldn't be doing this Bunker Bravo. I should play some Scum Survival on the live stream. I've already done a few live streams on Scum Survival. Maybe there will be more in the future one day, perhaps. I don't know. Can't promise anything. We never know. But we actually did it. It was a bit harder than I expected. Like, clearing Bunker Bravo during this event with unmodded weapons was a little bit harder. And easier at the same time. I don't know. It was 
boss fights, the fourth floor was more difficult than expected, actually. I thought the fourth floor is going to be a lot easier because the guy has only half less health. How are you supposed to deal with that boss if you don't have, like, a fully modded AK on the fourth floor there? That is ridiculous. The last boss does actually require some nice guns. You have to have, like, a fully modded AK at least to deal with that boss, to shoot, like, non-stop. So that you could deal with those parasites and, like, keep shooting the boss. What places, uh, what places should devs add to Last on Earth? As I said many times, I want a, whatever that place is called, I forgot, the lumber mill. I want a lumber mill at the swamp location. That way, I don't have to farm wood. I can just go to the lumber mill, and I can get wood that way by clearing a lumber mill. And I'd get wood there. That's what I want. And the last boss, use a grenade. I mean, does it do 200 damage from a grenade or 100 damage? Wait, how much damage does a grenade do? I forgot, actually. I've been playing this game for six years and I forgot. Okay, it doesn't even say. I think it does, like, 200 damage, probably. But I don't think boss actually gets 200 damage. There's no way just five grenades would kill it. Yeah, there's no way five grenades would kill that dude. Maybe you'd do, like, 100 damage, so you'd need 10 grenades for the last boss. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, let's drop the items then real quick. Let's try to sort out the base. I can't wait till the day when they add that auto sword button. You come to the base, you click auto sword, boom, and all of your items would just sword themselves in these chests, right? Let's say if I have in these chests, whatever, these gas cylinders, my gas cylinders would go into that chest. If I have my electronic circuits here, I could just drop these electronic circuits into this chest automatically. That'd be amazing, seriously. And Lila, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. I sent you a telepathic hello. I went... I won the shopping mall with different stores, with store bosses. Okay. Like, basically, managers. The boss will be the manager. Okay. We even use the revolver. Can you please make a scum live stream? I already said that we've done a few scum live streams and maybe there will be more in the future. Maybe you didn't hear that. So hey, I repeated that again. Uh, I don't have space for these gas cylinders. So every time I get something, I keep deleting it. Keep deleting something else like this chopper fork. If I'll ever require like 10 chopper forks, we'll just get them from Bunker Alpha. It's not that big of an issue. Okay, batteries. I can't store any more batteries because we are running out of space. Another propeller. I mean, maybe we won't need those propellers. Imagine you need those propellers for the helicopter. For the upcoming helicopter that will come out in 2070. Did I just leak the date of the helicopter? Maybe. Do I keep the rubber here? No, probably I'll keep it. I keep it here then. There we go. And gasoline and guys, inventory sorted out. Except there's still one more thing to sort out. I still have stuff in the chopper. Telepathic hello was received. Thank you. I'm glad you received it. For the supermarket, the final boss would be Karen. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, that's it. We can probably drop the rest of the loot. And let's go to the transport hub because we still haven't cleared it today. It has reset already. So we might just go there and fight some zombies. Let's get three armor-piercing weapons, which is probably more than enough. Let's get some other goop. Whew. This and uh, a like what other garbage we can get there. Some flare guns. I have an entire rack of these flare guns. I might as well just start using them. Will that be enough? Well, if that ain't enough, I'll get another flare gun. Let's get it. Let's now mod these weapons and let's go.
I want a flying boss and flying zombies, says Boring Sauce. Why would you want that? Maybe the better question is why wouldn't you want that, right? Maybe it's smart to want those things. Flying zombies! I guess no, but thanks. Those walking spitters is... is plenty. And drones. Yes, guys, we gotta get a drone. If it wasn't for you, I would've definitely forgotten it. I mean, it's still not... It's still not the end yet. I still might forget it. So we'll go grab it right now. Cyric says uh, MLBB India. Cyric, are you not bored of the transport hub? Sad face. Bruh, we are playing last on Earth for six years. We're clearing the same places all over and all over and all over and all over again for six goddamn years. And you are asking me if I'm bored of the transport hub. That's like the silliest question I've gotten today. That's it. I said it. I don't think it'll top it. That'll be the silliest question of the month. I said it. Maybe even of the year. The better question would be, are you not bored of Last on Earth or something else? But like Transport Hub, right? It's like, it's Last on Earth. It's part of the game. You just keep clearing the same location all the time. And to be honest, no, I'm not bored of the Transport Hub. Like, honestly, I'm not bored of it. I'm actually more interested to clear than Bunker Alpha. That's why we never almost clear Bunker Alpha anymore. We're just clear now of the Transport Hub because I, I'm actually not bored of it because it's still actually fun. It came out only two months ago, dude. Once I clear this place, like, for three years, then maybe I'll get bored of it. For now, it's still kind of fun. And it keeps being fun because I don't know what loot I'll get there. Like, I have no idea what loot I'll, I'll get today. I still don't remember what loot we'd get inside of those crates. And uh, the loot is kind of all the time different-ish. It's kind of the same-ish, but also kind of different. So, I don't know. It's interesting. Also, the boss at the very end, the butcher or the miner boss. Kind of fine. I don't mind it. It's not like we have anything better to do in last than it. Like, give me something else that we could do instead of Transport Hub. And I'll go and do it. Right now. Something better than Transport Hub. Do you have any suggestions? Do you have any suggestions do you have for last than Earth other than Lumber Mill and Autosaur? What other suggestions I have for last than Earth? Uh, yes, I kept talking about that suggestion is bringing the packing station from the port location to the base so that we could pack those packages at the base now especially with this system where we can craft anything we want without having those items in our inventory so I could just build those things at the base I could just grab those packages at the base and then I could go to the port location and send the packages instead of bringing the resources from the base to the port location and the other day we had a genius idea oh yeah being able to get like some sort of a jag hammer or a chainsaw from the crater, let's say like your brother or sister, whatever in the crater, because that's what they are, like your sibling. Yeah, from the crater, you can ask your sibling to send you a chainsaw or a jag hammer. So basically you'd have to play in sector seven to get that jag hammer and then you can send it and it would appear in your inbox here. That'd be awesome. That's what I want. Those are like 10 out of 10 ideas. Those are like genius ideas, man. Rust jag hammer to last on earth. Exactly. I mean, this game already, like, has lots of things from Rust. Like, I'm sure this game was inspired by Rust. Like, why wouldn't it be inspired by Rust? So, why not just bring a chainsaw? Well, maybe not a jaghammer. Who cares about mining? But I actually want to get the, that jaghammer. Why not? I want a chainsaw and I want the jaghammer. And that way, Sector 7 is more popular. Oh no, this dude will spit on me. That dude will absolutely spit on me. It's got the headache energy from Rust. Maybe. I mean, you can't compare Last and Earth to Rust, though. But, yeah. The game has a lot of things like Rust. Like farming, whatever. I mean, it's a survival game. Lots of games have the same things. But, yeah. Bro, why did you get triggered? It was like a tease question. 
Just because I answered the question more uh, louder and more passionately doesn't mean I got triggered. Every time I like say something, every time I like, respond to a comment, every time I like, respond to a comment a little bit louder, it's a bit, bit more fun. So, every time I add a bit more passion, oh, sorry, I got triggered. Should go outside more. Interact with human beings. Okay, let's try to open this thing up over here. Turn on bloody ultra graphic psych, please. Guys, you don't see the difference anyways. Especially you, B Joy. You said that you're watching live streams on 144p. So what are you talking about? Stop it. Stop it. Guys, well, I mean, obviously there is a difference. Playing on minimal and an ultra, right? Whoa, wait. Actually, this place has a lot more smoke here. Bruh, I didn't know that. Even on... Oh, yeah, this place on ultra looks a lot better. But we have, like, 58 FPS here. I mean, it stutters a bit more. I don't like it. I mean, we could play maybe on ultra even here. But it stutters! Look at it! It lags, ladies and gentlemen. It lags. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. He's normal, guys. Don't worry. Um, I am... Am I normal? Ultra is like night mode, maybe. I mean, I mean, it is lagging, guys. I can't play like this. Is it lagging for you or is it not lagging for you? Just like a question. Because for me, it is lagging. More... I watch 144p. I have nothing wrong with 144p. I, ne I never said anything wrong about 144p. I've watched plenty of videos on 144p myself. There's nothing wrong with that. It is stuttering. Okay, guys, so you can see that it is stuttering. It is It is annoying. It is unplayable. Oh, look at this. It's much better. It is much better. There we go. For a second, I forgot if I had taken the drone or not, but I actually have it. We do have the drone. Okay. Now we need to escape these guys. At 144p, uh, I can't even see the face. I mean, it do be like that. As I said, when I watch something on 144p, it's mostly just for the audio. Like I had a really crap internet. And uh, I had to watch some stuff, and I was watching 144p. I mean, it do be like that. There's nothing wrong with 144p. Should have brought perhaps some melee weapons on these acid melters. Low graphics kind of remind me of original Fallout. But guys, it doesn't change. It's just darker. I mean, it looks better, obviously. But it's not like the game changes drastically. Okay, I almost stepped in that thing and died. I would have been very sad. At 144p, Psych looks like a Minecraft character. <laughs> I like Minecraft. So I'll take it as a compliment. Um, um, okay, let's climb higher. We could go and fight the boss right now, but I usually like to fight the boss at the very end. It's like a... A treat. I kill the boss and that's it, then I don't have to kill anything else here. You don't even have to do this way, you just go fight the boss and that's it, kinda. You don't have to kill these other guys. Unless you wanna get the crates. Which I should get the crates here. Okay, let's open up one more... ...thing. Lazarus well, should add weather, like rain, thunderstorms, or maybe a hurricane, says Jess, yeah. Maybe. Sorry for butchering your name, Josia. 
I'll just call you Jeremiah. It's probably a completely different name. I'll just call you Jeremiah from now on. Lagging, bro. Go high. <laughs> Guys, I mean, we could probably go on high settings. It does lag a little bit. It still stutters. We need to go low. The game looks better on low. Some things look better on low. That's it. Let's open up that door. Stupid. Toxic darter. I hate it. I hate that schmuck. Oh my goodness. These carrions. We could probably wall trick them somewhere. Wait a second. I want to go here. Of course. Of course they're in that corner. Wait, there's the door. Oh no, there will be parasites. Maybe those parasites are not chasing us yet. Of course they are chasing us now. Okay, let's get the parasites. Brothers and sisters. Oh my goodness, another carrion, the third one. Carrion, the third. I messed it all up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, and this dude woke up! What were you doing? There were no parasites before, now they're here. Yeah, it doesn't work. That doesn't work. Give me back and hide here. There we go. That works. Oh my goodness. These schmucks! Okay, now we can do this. Let's try to wall trick these guys. Except wall tricking three of them at the same time will be kind of tricky. Oh my goodness. They're still alive. Okay, let's hide now. Oh, wow. That was horrible. There we go, we did it. It's not even a happy sound effect. It is a sad sound effect. I just destroyed my armor and I don't have any more armor. I'll have to go in the bloody inbox to get more armor. Let's go for it. Ladies and gents, let's go. Let's get this tactical set. I'll get it. This group of carrions is just unreasonably hard to kill. They're too fast and the Genesis guns don't do enough damage to kill them quickly enough. And on top of that, they heal when they attack you. I think it could be a little bit easier if you go and wall trick them because the third guy doesn't always attack. So you could still kind of wall trick them, but yeah. I definitely messed up. That place like shouldn't be that hard to clear. I definitely messed up there, but yeah, it is still difficult to clear that place. It's like, have you ever played Pl Project Zomboid? Yes, I've played it and I'm thinking on making some more videos on Project Zomboid someday in the future. It's like, is Hub a good place for mid players? Maybe if you can unlock it, then why not? You should unlock it. It's a decent place. You can get here copper, actually. You can get here also... Carbon composites. And hey, speaking of... Not carbon composites, but factory parts. Also, there we go. We've gotten some copper bars. It's like, when is Act 3 released? I don't have a slightest clue. It's like, I haven't heard you say that you can get any transmissions from deliveries. I just got one yesterday. Good luck. I mean, congratulations on it. I have said that... I have 1,700 probably videos on Lazenor as well, and I have mentioned that it is possible to get ATV transmissions from deliveries, except I don't really mention it that often because I think you can get only like one or two transmissions. I don't think you can get actually a lot of them. They're very rare, very rare. Maybe you can get more than that. Maybe some of you can actually attest that you've gotten more than two ATV transmissions from deliveries. I think maybe I've gotten one or two. That's it. I know they're very rare though. Probably. My phone is hunted. My phone is hunted. I can't get the stream now. Just chat. Excuse me? I am here. Welcome. Welcome. 
Welcome. Where can I get factory parts? I literally just said that you can get factory parts here from the transport app. You can also get factory parts by recycling guns. You can get factory parts by... What else? Where else can you get them? Um, I mean, I'll just... I'll just go factory parts, elderly. This way I don't even have to think. I'll just read where they're possible. Season passes as rewards, recycling weapons at the recycler, bunker, bravo, cargo crates, sunken box obtainable at the port using the crane key, destroyed convoy, okay, that's not in the destroyed convoy, from the gas station by spinning caps, and at the port, laboratory, hard mode, storage crate. But you can also get that stuff by doing the laboratory event. That's where you get your factory parts. Or the lab event. Yes, yes, or that lab event. From the lab event, you can also get those factory parts. I think you can get an entire stack of factory parts if you clear the entire laboratory. I just finished the entire Dying Light. The human series loved it. Congratulations, mate. You rock. Thanks, mate. Wait, you watch the videos or you finish the game yourself? In any case, whichever it is, I'm glad you enjoyed the Dying Light game. It was epic. It's like turn up the volume. The volume is already there. The volume is there. Let's use some of these flare guns. And then, after this, let's not forget about the police department. I'll go there, I will open up a few blue crates. And same thing with Bunker Alpha, I'll open up a bunch of... I'll open up a red, green, and uh, yellow crate. I look 35, thank you. I'm actually 55. Thanks for the compliment. So I turn up the volume and spam scars. Yes. Have you played Left 4 Dead? I don't know. They're all the same for me. Left 4 Dead, Dead something and Dead whatever. There are like a few games with dead in the name. I might have played it, I don't remember. Might have played it in the video, might be on the channel. Why are you 26 years old? Why am I 26? I have no idea why am I 26? Why am I 26? Because I was born 26 years ago, that's why I'm 26 years old. What if we ask ChatGPT? Can I access ChatGPT right now or will I have to re-enter everything? Oh yeah, of course. Of course. But I want to ask ChatGPT, why am I 26? Why will it respond? I actually want to know. I'm like... I'm like... Kind of curious. Okay, there we go. Let's ask Chad GPT. Uh, why am I 26 years old? What will it say? The passage of time and aging process are biological phenomena that apply to most humans. That's why I'm 26, I guess. That's why. I guess that, hopefully that explains the question. Why am I 26? Okay, those are just basic zombies. That's not a boss inside. Do you think of returning to Dismantle? It was a fun game. Dismantle was a fun game. Will we play more of it? I have no idea. ChatGPT just says, Donut. Why am I 26? Uh, because you're a donut. Maybe that's why. 
Have you played Days Gone? Yes, I've played Days Gone. Okay. There are more schmucks here. Have you done the arena event? Oh, I have actually forgotten about the arena event. I haven't done it yet. I haven't actually done the arena event. Let's bring that crossbow back to the base. It's kind of a that weapon, but at the same time, if you don't have any other weapons, then this crossbow is pretty decent. You look older than 26. Okay. The reason why I had the beard actually to look a bit older, because I started my YouTube channel when I was 16 or something, maybe 15. So I was like, I'm going to grow a beard. I'll look older. And now it's kind of backfired. Now I kind of look too old, maybe. Kind of hobo. Kind of not. I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. I just embrace the beard. I oh, know I'm going to go lower. I just embraced it. If I shave my beard, I look 14. So you know what? I'd rather keep it. I'd rather look 40 than... than 14. Because how will you listen, guys, to my tips and tricks, right? Have to establish the authority. And if I don't have a beard, there is no authority. Authority is established by facial hair. Everybody knows that. That's it. Oh my goodness. Before the beard, he was Draco Malfoy. Excuse me. And if I shave the beard, right? I'd have to change the hairstyle. Like, this hair do is not gonna... It's like you don't have any hair, you're bald. Stop it. Just stop it. Say, if I shave the beard, I'll have to change uh, the hairstyle. Because it's not gonna look as good. It's not like it looks great, right? But it won't suit without the beard. Plus, I'm getting dreadlocks tomorrow. So I'm kind of doubling in on the beard. So there's that. Draco is the blonde kid from Harry Potter. Yes, I know who he is. Malfoy. The dude from Slytherin. Did you just assume I don't know who is Draco Malfoy? How dare you assume such things. Oh my goodness. Why this dude is so fast? Just slow down. Look at it. Just look at this schmuck. Oh my goodness. Flare gun does absolutely no damage. I thought I think guys, I might be mistaken, but I think that flare gun even healed him a little bit. Let's be honest here. I think flare gun heals him. Unbelievable. Stop it! Just get some help! And I should have brought bandages to heal with this miner instead of bandages. Instead of first aid kits. Don't get dreads, they're a pain. Um, I mean, the haircut will kind of stay the same. Maybe you won't even see the difference. But... Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna heal up. One is, I have a pretty long hair and it's kind of getting annoying. So either... Yeah, it's just getting annoying. I'll have to style my dreads a bit less than my current hair. So that's basically the reason why I want to get it. I mean, if it's bad, it's bad. I'll just shave it and I'll be bald. Wow. Big deal. And don't discourage me. I was already discouraged from them. I encouraged myself again. I don't want to chicken out tomorrow. So stop it. Stop discouraging me. goodness dude can we kill him can we even like damage him can we do 200 damage with this thing
Um, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. There we go. Or to be hair and beard color. Stop it. Oh, look at this. The dude's chilling. It looks like he's kind of chilling. The dude is somewhat chilling. Okay. Let's get the cargo. Sorry, can you play Dead Island 2 again? I mean, we've beaten it. Why would we play it again? There's nothing else to do there. We've beaten it already. It's like, have you ever played The Last of Us? Yes. It's like, can you... What? How many minutes do you need to fix your hair? Zero. When I have, uh, when I have braids hair, zero. When I don't have them, I don't know, maybe three minutes, maybe five minutes. Um... Let's open that up. And let's open this up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's open up the loot. You can vote. You can vote for which crate you want me to open up. Either this first crate, either the second crate, the third crate, or the fourth crate. There we go. There will be a poll. Which crate to open up? One, two, three, and four. There we go. Like, those braids will be the same, like, as the, the same haircut as I have right now. It'll still be, like, laid back. So, it still should be kind of the same. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So, you guys, make sure to vote in the poll to see which crate we open up. The third, fourth, or the, the other crates. I only ever open police crate. The police crate. Okay, this isn't the police crate. Actually, all of those crates are kind of goop, to be honest. All of those crates are kind of meh. All those crates are the same. You always get kind of the same-ish crates. What will happen when the cargo is the car of curtain in the bed with the table at the... At the stairs. You did your best there to make a confusing question, to type that confusing question, didn't you? Well, that's it, guys. 48% of you have voted for the fourth crate, so I'm, you know what? I'm gonna open up the fourth crate. That is it. Let's unload this cargo. And let's get the loot. Let's see. Um, wait, we did get this gas cylinder which is kind of decent we have gotten three genesis weapons we have gotten some seaweed banner just other stuff i mean it's not a terrible crate it's an okay crate it's probably the second best crate in the game that you can get after bunker or alpha so it's it's decent i don't mind it it's fine it's all right it's a good crate well an okay crate it's fine Okay, let's drop all these guns here, and let's get the rest of the stuff. Imagine if they added a nuke where you could just kill all the zombies in the forest or rocket area, and all the resources would just drop. Matthew Spellman, for those who do not know, Matthew Spellman keeps uh, typing in, keeps pasting those comments from, like, I don't know, weeks ago. Like, somebody will write, like, a weird comment, and that dude will just save it, and then just, like, paste it in the chat, like, once in a while. That comment was probably asked... I don't know, a week ago? How do you still have it? And you've never typed it before. It's the first time you typed it. How many of those comments have you saved? Where do you keep them? Sir, I need answers. Why do you do things? Why do you do these things? <laughs> is there anything else that I want to take? I'm thinking. The brain is thinking. The last brain cell is... Trying to evolve here. I'll get the inhalers, but I don't have space to take them anyways. Let's skedaddle. Yes, I can remember it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, guys, if you watch the live streams, if you watch them regularly, you probably remember that question as well. 
Some people will ask a weird question and Matthew will just like save it and we'll paste that comment later. I don't know what you mean, says Matthew. Of course. Of course. And Sam Trevor, thanks for the Hi, super chat. Welcome. How are you doing? You are starting to look more and more like Ragnar Lothbrook from Vikings. Are you intentionally sporting that look? Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate, for the super chat. And, uh, I mean, I kind of got the idea of the haircut once I watched the Vikings. So I'm not really, like, stealing his look, but kind of, maybe subconsciously. And that's the thing. Whatever. I'm just going to show it. I don't know how the haircut would look like. Uh, I'll show it. Tomorrow, I'm getting dreadlocks, right? And I want something like... I don't know if, how it will look like. It won't look like that, obviously. It'll look something different. But like this. That is it. That's what I'm getting tomorrow. Um, this kind of haircut. That's what I kind of want. I don't know how long that'll stay. It'll be kind of different, though. These are twists. These are... This is... These are not dreads. This is something else. But I want something like that. So I'll be getting that tomorrow. But we'll see. So yeah, Sam, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for being here. That's what happens when you watch Vikings once. Okay, let's get back to the base. Let's drop all the loot. If you go home and back, that loot will be gone. No, all the loot will stay in the transport hub. All the loot will stay there in the transport hub. Nothing will disappear unless the transport hub resets. But you have the timer up there to know when it resets. It's like, is a closed red dot site worth crafting? I have no idea what is that mod. I don't remember all of those mods. I only remember... I only know... The grip mod. That's it. this. Let's start charging the drone. Next, you need 20-inch biceps. That will... We, we're gonna work on that. Don't worry, guys. Biceps will come later. Who cares about biceps when you can get a nice haircut? Just think about it. Can you do the arena now? Maybe we'll do the arena. I don't even really know. Do we do a raid or the arena? I think we can do one of those things, guys. Either the raid or the arena. 20-inch steroids, says Shashank. I mean... Whatever to get the 20 inch biceps. Okay, uh, what should we do? Raid arena event. There we go, guys. You can vote again what we're gonna do. Let's drop this here. Let's drop some of the drone parts. Dude, I'm running out of space. I don't know where to keep those stupid, stupid gas cylinders. What am I going to do with them? I just have an entire rack of these things, basically. Mm, copper. My... Cop uh, copper bars, my capy bars. Where do I put them? There we go, that's nice. I'll also drop the titanium fragments. That'll be good enough. Um. Inhalers go there and that is it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We sorted out the base. Actually, I feel like I have to play this cheering sound effect once we clear our inventory, once we sort it out. Because it is somewhat of an accomplishment. I feel like it's somewhat of an accomplishment. Okay, so 60% of people voted for the raid, so I guess we should go for the raid. 
I mean, the arena event is fine. It's gonna stay till when? The arena event lasts till... Maybe we'll be able to still clear it, right? I'll be able to clear it for one day in six hours. Maybe we'll still clear it. We'll see. We'll see. I kept clearing that arena event constantly. I don't know if I want to clear it again, though. So we will figure all of that stuff out. Capybara. So can capybaras be domesticated? That was the question. And I didn't get any answers yet. Can you actually domesticate capybaras? Uh, let's raise a few puppies. I think we need level one male puppies. There we go. Can you do a video of your setup? I've done a video of my setup already. You can check it out. Just type Cyrex setup tour. And there is my setup tour. Dude, I just raised like three or something male level one puppies and now they're all gone. I don't know what's going on. Yes, check urban rescue range. Okay, so it is possible to then uh, have capybaras. Epic, guys. Oh, that, that's my spirit animal. I literally know zero about capybaras. I just saw them recently somewhere in some sort of a video. So that's why I keep talking about them. And uh, yeah, we need to go and clear the farm location. Let's do it and then let's skedaddle. Once in the wild, they group and survive. I have some cabbies at my ranch I work at. Cabbies, they call them cabbies. Capybaras are called cabbies. Well, I've learned something new. Thanks, Death Bkmosu. Sorry for butchering the name. Cabbies. Capybaras, man. Sarek, what kind of oxygen do you breathe? The premium one. The 98. Uh, from 98. Yeah. Oxygen 98. There's oxygen 2002. There's oxygen two, uh, 98. There's also oxygen 95. And uh, all of that stuff aside. Dude. My head hurts now. Thanks for that comment. I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, we were getting ready for the... For the for the for the thing. For the farm. I wanted to say laboratory. Bro scares me every time. <laughs> yeah, don't be like that. More flare guns, whatever, let's get them. Let's get the dumb flare guns and the minigun. It's like, is that enough weapons for the farm location? Yes. Do you smoke weed? No. It's like, how do you get all of those flare guns? Yes. Actually, you get those flare guns from the police department. It's like, how do you blink? Well, you just blink. After you watch Urban Rescue Ranch, you'll be hooked. Gort and Quan Dele are adorable cappies. Maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised that I've already seen some of their videos. Oh my goodness. I'm starving and I need food. Like, how did I forget that? How does one forget food? Stupid infinite packs. Let's open them up. Because I know every time I open up my inbox, you guys, I was like, I got packs there. Open them up. Well, I'll open up these packs now. Psych has gotten too much energy by drinking sparkling water. It's just basic water. Haven't drank sparkling water. It's not sparkling water. It's sparkling water, mate. There we go. I'm taking my revenge on people. When I called the jester, jest. So I'm taking my revenge right now. And rare infinite pack. Uh, 
and food. We need to get some food, ladies and gentlemen. Consumables. I mean, beans. I guess good enough. Beans, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Hey, Syrek, what is the best way to get oak by farming oak in the oak zone? Sparking water? There's sparkling water. There is no sparking water. At least I haven't heard of it. This, the shotgun, and that is it. We are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to clear the farm location. I'm just gonna hope that during the next update they'll fix this FPS glitch. If they don't fix it, I know what I'll do. How am I gonna play last on earth when it's glitching like that? We get sparking water when you spark water with a lighter. What? Excuse me, sir. Are you in the US? No. I'm not. I want your backpack skin in last enter. Um, sadly, it's impossible to get it. A random f fun fact. Recently, I started watching... Uh, Shelby something. No, not Shelby. Sheldon. Young Sheldon, right? I started watching that TV show. It's pretty cool. I'm liking it so far. I haven't watched Big Bang Theory, though. So maybe after that, I will watch Big, ba Big Bang Theory. But we'll see. So there's that. There, there's an update on the TV shows that I'm watching right now. How do we know the water is in vodka? Uh, because you can trust me? <laughs> what would I lie to you about that? What do I need to do? I forgot my task here. Do I need to open up a blue crate? Do I need to kill the revenger? Or do I need to destroy three bulls? I think I'll do all of that. Big Bang is hilarious, maybe. I do enjoy Young Sheldon as well. I think it's pretty fun. I like it, actually. Hey, you stop watching TV. Clear Bunker Alpha. Okay. So yeah, about a month ago, maybe two months ago, I've finished watching Malcolm in the Middle for the first time. It was okay. I like the first few seasons. The last season was like kind of eh. I feel like they kind of stretched it a bit too much. But I kind of enjoyed it. I liked it. Overall, it gets my approval. If you haven't seen Malcolm in the Middle, you can watch it. It's pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Okay, the sack of potatoes. I mean, we, we're at it. I might as well just loot it. Okay, let's get that blue box. And let's bring it to the top. It's like, what mods are you using on the shotgun? Okay, I will show it to you. There we go. Where is it? Look, okay, these are the mods that I'm using here. Oh my god, sir! Thank you for your generosity! I'll try to pause the live stream and find it. Okay, I'll hold it a little bit longer so that it's easier for you. There we go. These are the mods that I'm using here. You see? I am nice. Smash like, smash subscribe if you think Sayak is nice. It's like, what mods are you using on your machete? Nobody asked it, but hey. Okay, these are the mods that I'm using. That's it, and these are the mods that I have in my AK. Good luck pausing that. Okay, I'll hold it a bit longer. There we go. It's like, use the Winchester. I don't have it. Young Sheldon, it's about the genius kid, right? Yes. There was a TV show that I tried watching. I can't remember. The, the crashed airplane, and they all traveled back in time. I forgot how it's called, dude. Some of you will know that. The, their airplane kind of crashed, kind of not. They went missing. Manifest. But the TV show is called Manifest. There we go. I remembered that. 
Manifest, right? Somebody in the chat once re for, uh, suggested me to watch Manifest. I was like, let's watch it. I think I watched a few seasons, like two or three seasons, and... Again, that's just my opinion. It was just bad. It was like probably one of the worst TV shows I've seen. And I couldn't watch it. I couldn't finish watching it. Like, that's pretty much it. I tried watching it, and I couldn't finish watching it at all. But again, it's just my opinion. Maybe some people loved it. But I thought that it was just atrocious. And my bar for TV shows isn't that high. But that thing... Is oof. But again, some people might actually like it. Again, it's just my, my opinion. My opinion kind of doesn't really matter, so... My opinion shouldn't sway. Sway, yo. I just don't really like... I just don't really like all the characters there. I really don't sympathize with any of them. They're all weird. Like, nothing makes sense. The show was very good for me, maybe. I mean, the concept... I really liked the maybe first season, the first few episodes. I don't know. It was fun. I really wanted to like it. But I didn't like any of the characters. They're like... They're very weird. Again, I don't want to spoiler anything. But like, every season is basically the same there. But like, I don't agree with a single character there. They're like, they're like so bad. I like the concept though. I really love the concept. I wish it was better. But the character has made it unwatchable. Do I recommend it? I mean, you can watch it. To you, MLBB, yes, I recommend that TV show. You should absolutely watch it. You will absolutely love it. You should, tra you should see Travelers. It's amazing, maybe. Maybe. Isn't the poll done? Uh, the, poll, the poll is done for a while now. Oh my goodness, my armor is going to break again. But it's just my opinion, as I said. Some people might actually like it. And people actually liked it, so... There are people that like it. Have you watched The Walking Dead? Uh, I am currently watching it. I'm watching it now. I'm trying to rewatch The Walking Dead. And last time I watched it was probably a year ago. But yeah, I don't know in which season I am. Again, without any spoilers, maybe season 7? Season 7 to season 8. The worst season, basically. And I can't... I don't have the time to rewatch it again. I'd rather, like, watch something else than watch that stuff. But I kind of want to... I want to watch it. Like, I will watch it one day fully. But yeah, I stopped watching it at the middle of Season 7 or at the end of Season 7 or something like that. And I'm kind of back at the same spot where I ended last time. go. The Last of Us is far better. I've also watched The Last of Us TV show. It was pretty decent. I liked it. Four and six seasons were the best in my opinion. I don't remember all the seasons, but I liked all the seasons to be honest. Like, I think The Walking Dead was fine up to like season six or something. Season five, six, I guess they were fine. If I'm not confusing the seasons. Do you like anime? I only watched Dragon Ball. That's pretty much it. Is it anime? Well, I'll say that it is. Let's craft some more bandages. Bam. I was like, wait, have I killed the Revenger? And I just literally fought that dude. I just literally killed the Ravager. Excuse me, Revenger. Blech. Feeling dirty for even calling him Ravager. Dirty. Nothing. 
something. Wait, I have looted that as well. I really don't remember anything. As I said, once you clear a certain place, a hundred times you kind of do it in autopilot. I forgot that we even looted that house there. Wait, now I kind of remember. We actually got those iron wires, so I do remember that. Okay, let's plop the blue box. And let's get the shotgun. Let's get a flare gun. And let's get ready. Oh, Lord. And yeah, I'm also watching Witcher 3. The season 3, I mean. Waiting for the new episodes. I think they are supposed to come out either in July 27th or 24th. One of those two days. And again, a random opinion. I think season 2 and season 1 were a lot better. Season 2 looked actually kind of cool. The monsters there looked kind of... Meh. And some of the characters there looked like they are literally on the green screen. There was a scene where Siri rides uh, the horse, and it literally looked so bad. It looked like she was on the green screen. So yeah, but it was, but it is still all right. I still like it, despite some of those weird things. I still think it's okay. okay goodbye, Savage Giant. Now we can open up the blue box, ladies and gentlemen. What did we get here? Drum roll, and we got nothing. Bat with nails. Still, we don't get that. We cannot get that purple machete mod. Unbelievable. Are you going to live stream tomorrow? I doubt it. Maybe. I don't know. Can't promise anything. I don't know. They say kill that bull. Isn't it already dead? Do we have to kill it? Do I have to kill five, three bulls for the raid? Maybe. I don't know. Season 2 and 3 are not even close to books. Well, I haven't read the books, so... So there is that. I play last on Earth. I don't know how to read. I'm not capable of reading. I'm illiterate. Wish I could read books. And that is it. We did it. Let's get that out from this place. Are you still clearing Bunker Alpha? Today we're not clearing it. Like, sometimes I clear it in hard mode for... If the Raiders ask me to do it. The first time I did the farm, I exited out of the map, putting the chest on the saw and went back in to finish killing the zombies. But the chest was gone and the barn door had closed again. I was so mad, says the cows. Now, yikes. Can you do a room tour? I've done the room tour in the other videos. The room is kind of similar as the other room, so it's kind of still the same. There's nothing to show here, guys. It's not like I have here insane things. What do you think I'm hiding here? The entire Last Dinner developer team? Yeah, maybe. Maybe there are here. Maybe there are in my room. We're all in the same room. They're developing now the helicopter here. So yeah, there's nothing really I can show in the room. I've already done the setup tour and I think that's more than enough. There is nothing interesting to show here. Nothing has really changed. Are you getting a tattoo? No, I'm not getting a tattoo. Nothing against tattoos, but I don't want the tattoo. Gooper. Okay, you go there. <laughs> Behind the camera is the NASA mission control. He's just hiding it. Mm, I mean, I can't deny it. I can't confirm it or deny it. Wink, wink. Maybe I have the NASA control panel thing, whatever. Or maybe I don't. There's a 50-50 chance. Either I do or I don't. Ooh. 
Oh, let's drop the gun. Psych, why are you breathing? I know, I just read a comment. I lost some dry brain cells, and then I breathed again to restore that brain cell. And that's it. We're ready to go. I mean, if you like Vikings, you will love the series Barbarians. Maybe. I liked Vikings up to season three. Then I just watched them because I, because ain't why not? Or maybe that was still season four. To be honest, I've seen now so many Viking like kind of TV shows that they're they have all blurred in my head so much that I don't know. There are other. Viking TV shows. There was like Viking TV show about Uhtred. I think there were like four or five seasons. Uh, the Last Kingdom, it was called. And then there was uh, Vikings sequel called Valhalla or something. I've also watched that. And there was probably something else. I watched like everything. Everything is a blur now. Like all of them is just like one huge TV show in my head. And uh, aluminum. Where do I drop the aluminum? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have sorted out the base. Um, okay, this thing done. Let's get a, 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 a C4. I watched Peaky Blinders. I've also watched Peaky Blinders. It was fine. It was fine. I liked it. Are you planning on continuing the God of War game and finishing it? It's the only regret that I have here on the channel not finishing God of War. I seriously should have finished God of War. I regret not finishing it and I apologize, but I don't think we're gonna finish it. Because it's been like, what, over a year since the last episode, so it's not like I'll play now more God of War to beat it. First of all, I've forgotten how to play the game, and we're in the middle of the game, so it'll take a while to remember it, and, uh... Yeah, we're not beating it. I wish I had beaten it. I regret it. That's kind of the only game that we haven't finished on the channel. So I wish I had beaten it. But it is what it is. And, uh... Let's... Okay, let's drop that thing over here. I want to go to the toilet again. I want to pee. Why? I didn't drink. I didn't eat anything. Why? Oh, maybe because of the whiskey that I drank. I have no idea. Should have went in the toilet, actually. I do have the toilet here, the outhouse. Should have just went here. Should have just done that. I saw an old video of you and Star Snipe getting shredded by the miner. Yikes. Yikes. Well, that boss was broken. The the game lagged and everything. Yeah. Bravo event with AK. We've just done the Bravo event already today. Okay, let's take a shower and let's get ready for the raid, ladies and gents. We gotta go and do the raid. He wants to pee because of the three anti-rads you chugged. Can you pee because of anti-rads? Nah. Can you get stinky if you go to the toilet? N no. I don't know. I think you don't. It's like, is Star's not really your roommate? I'm not even gonna answer that question, it is obvious. It's like it's obvious what? I don't know. It is obvious. He might be my roommate, he might not be my roommate. There's a 50-50 chance. Uh, let's get limestones. Oh my goodness, again, I didn't mean to get that. I could have just crafted it that way without getting items in my pockets, but whatever.
I mean, we can ask Star Snipe in the chat here right now. And maybe he'll answer. Where is it? There we go. Star Snipe, are you my room mate? Is that how you spell roommate? I'm gonna double check it. Roommate. So, uh, Star Snipe, are you my roommate? There we go, I asked him. Let's see if he answers. Maybe when, when he gets online, we'll see. We'll know if he's my roommate or not. The plot thickens. Let's get a Glock, let's skedaddle. Maybe I am his roommate. Maybe he's not my roommate. Maybe he is my roommate. Maybe I am his roommate. In any case, you got the point. Let's get that all to that raid, ladies and gentlemen. go let's raid the base ladies and gentlemen it took us quite a while to get ready we're ready though we're absolutely ready so did you know that there is a trick for the miner in the hug in the hub probably you meant where you go in the container door and just kill him with melee weapons while staying there because he can't move or attack can you try uh, I don't use glitches. Maybe that's not a glitch, but yeah. I don't think I'll be able to try it. LDOE raid player 11111. Okay, that's a lot of ones. Let's see if this raid is any good. Bruh. This raid will absolutely blow your mind. Wait, am I thirsty or hungry? No, I'm fine. Everything's fine here. Let's go. Yo, Psych, I downloaded Mimo Player and I was searching up how to fix all the lag and I can't fix it. I got a good PC, so I don't know what the problem is. I was asking you because I don't know how to, who to ask. Well, it's lagging for me as well. Just put on minimal settings on low. On minimal and it should fix the lag. It's a trash base, not gonna lie. Maybe. I mean, on the first glance, it looks fine. Right, it looks kind of interesting. The dude's trying to build his ATV. They've also changed the thing. I don't think I mentioned that, but they've changed the UI. So now that's how you have to drop your items. Before you had to drop them on the sides. Now there's just like one huge bar there. I actually prefer the other one. Now it looks kind of weird. I actually think the old way of assembling that ATV was better. Where you had to add items around that blueprint. Now it looks kind of, I don't know, cheaper. Stinkier. I prefer the old uh, UI. Uh, let's get the iron plates. Big plop. Well, at least this place has some chests, right? I mean, it could have been a lot worse. At least it has like, what, seven chests? So it's pretty decent. Uh, we've gotten some berry tea. But we're not taking that berry tea. I apologize, but we're not taking it. No. 
No buried tea allowed. Let's get some more stones. Some more wood. It's kind of goop. I don't want those resources, but I also don't want to go back empty handed. So I at least want to get something. So we'll get that. It's like, have you ever done a video on Bunker Delta? It's not in the game. Gasoline and a combat ticket. There we go. Let's skedaddle. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we absolutely did it. There's nothing else we can do in this raid. Does this raid get Sykes approval? I mean, we have gotten some wood. Would I give it 2 out of 10 though? Because to get Sykes approval, the base has to get at least 2 out of 10. So, I don't know. forgot the berry tea. I left it for later. I'll go back and I'll drink it later. So yeah, I'll drink that berry tea later, guys. Don't worry about it. Totally, don't worry about that berry tea. So it's much like if you like berry tea. It's much like if you like breathing oxygen. It's like, what is oxygen? So like, have you ever played Clash of Clans? Yes, I've actually played Clash of Clans. Am I going to play it again? I don't know. I am still playing Clash Royale off camera occasionally, and I kind of want to delete it. I think it's a trash game. But hey, still keep it. Did you grind the settlement? Today we haven't grinded the settlement. What we can do, though, is at least maybe get daily loot. We could at least get daily rewards. Maybe we should probably do that. And uh, yeah, let's hope, ladies and gentlemen. Let's buckle up, buckaroos. And let's get ready. And there's also one more thing that I need to do again. The brain is thinking. The brain came up with something. The brain realized that we need to go here. Let's get this. And uh, yeah, let's also get some more wood and iron. Whatever, we're going to go there. Uh, this and iron and uh, and uh, charcoal. There we go. We can now go to this place. Clash Royale might be trash, but it has more players, player base, in my opinion. I mean, it's obviously a bigger game than Last Earth, and I'm not saying that it's trash. Like, oh, it's a horrible game. It's it's a fun game. I'm just saying that I get destroyed in Clash Royale all the time. Like, I'll play the game today, for example, I'll play two games, and the opponent had only 20 health left. And it happened twice. And I lost twice, and it's just annoying. I want to throw away my phone through the window. But that's it. I still play it. Other than that, it's an okay game. But me saying that it's trash, it didn't mean, like, actually the game's bad. Low graphics, huh? These are Ultra Pro Max graphics. What are you talking about? Why there are so many useless cards in Last and Earth? I don't have a slightest clue. That'll be enough, right? Five of those. Okay, cool. We'll have the settlement. Yes, that's what we do. Uh, I think we have done everything there is to do. Correct? We have grinded in the settlement. There is nothing else I could do. Let's get at all. Clash Royale is a trash game, though. It's incredibly pay to win, I agree. And the new update for level 15 is three times as hard of getting cards from level 1 to level 14. Yes, I've heard of that. And yes, it is kind of goop. And, uh, I mean, yeah. 
it is kind of trash. Again, I'm not planning to buy anything in Clash Royale, and it's not like I'm grinding there in the trophy road. I just like playing in... I like playing those random challenges. I like playing in the... In the league, right? That's it. Oh my goodness, I brought those iron pieces here. Whatever, we are skedaddling, ladies and gentlemen. It is enough of grind for one day. What we need to do right now, you might be thinking, Psych, what are we gonna do? What on earth can we do right now? Have you heard of GeoGuessr? Have you ever heard of touching grass? Have you ever seen grass in your life? Me neither. But I have seen pixel grass. Pixelated grass? On computer? On a monitor? Yes. So I'm gonna look at some grass in GeoGuessr, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin. The timer is going and I can't... Oh, there we go. We are in. There we go. We are against up, like, what? Eight people? Ten people? I don't know how many people, but we are in. Um, um, excuse me. I am already lost. New Jersey snack coffee bar. But I mean, it, there's no way it's in U.S. South America, I'd say, probably. Where's the sun? The sun is in the south. Okay, we are in the north. Um, I am very lost right now where we are. Like, very lost. IT... Okay, so we are in... Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are absolutely in Italy. I'll probably choose the southest part of Italy. If it's Italy, I mean, it doesn't really look like Italy to me, but... Unless it's on some sort of an island, I'll go here. Whoa, I'm almost on the last spot. I definitely went way too low. I'll get knocked out. I got knocked out on the first round! And it wasn't in Italy. It was in Albania. Dude, I am terrible! Why? Why do you do this? Why does this game do this to me? I can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe it. And now we'll have to wait again. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are wrapping up. I failed. I have... Uh, I have, I have betrayed, I have disappointed you again. <sighs> That's it, guys. We will be probably wrapping it up, so thanks for joining, everybody. See you tomorrow with another video. Uh, it might actually be last day on Earth. It might either be last day on Earth or scum survival. So one of those two videos. So buckle up, buckaroos. Yeah. See you later, everybody. We just got destroyed. And we got a skedaddle. So shout out to all of you. Thanks for being here, guys. And see you later, everybody. See you tomorrow with another video. Either Last on Earth or Scum Survival. We'll see. No matter how many L's you get, we'll still support you. Thank you, Stefanos. Thank you, thank you. But that was a horrible L. Just got knocked out on the first try. I think last time I got knocked out on the first try as well. That's just horrible. You saw yourself. There was a domain that said IT. That was supposed to be Italy. The game is rigged. That's it. And I'm playing against cheaters. That is it. It looked weird. It didn't look like Italy. That's why I said it doesn't look like Italy. But I mean, Domain said Italy, so I chose Italy. But it is what it is. Shout out to all of you guys once again. Thanks for being here. And see you tomorrow with another uh, video. Take care, everybody. See you later. Peace out.